preparing for and responding to these types of tragedies has become a focal point for school systems around the country since that massacre at Columbine. Our Mike McClanahan takes a look at how our schools are working to prevent the unthinkable. What's the solution to school safety? Metal detectors? While they can be useful, they are not foolproof and are extremely difficult to implement, according to Mo Kennedy with the National Association of School Resource Officers. Jefferson County Schools don't have them installed, but they have been used before for a specific threat. Shelby County Schools only have metal detectors in their alternative school. Both systems have a school shooter safety plan, which they practice with drills. Shelby County spokesperson Cindy Warner says the schools are locked down and students are barricaded inside, trying to get into parts of the room where they would not be seen. Lessons learned from incidents at other schools. Almost every school in Jefferson County has a school resource officer. Every Hoover school has an SRO, and most Shelby County schools have SROs as well. Kennedy says it takes everyone working together to implement a safety plan, but a vital part of the plan is a dedicated school resource officer. It, it appears that there was some information that students may have had uh, on Twitter or whatever it was. And the sad thing about there not being a, a school resource officer there is there wasn't a school resource officer for somebody to report that to. Shelby County also has a zero tolerance policy for guns at school. Any student caught with a gun on campus is automatically expelled. The last time it happened, it involved a hunting rifle left in a student's vehicle by accident. All right, thank you, Mike. Well, the State Department of Education keeps track of these types of incidents. Now, they sent us some data from their student incident report system. Alabama had 21 accounts of gun possession in the 2010-2011 school year. Nine of those were in Birmingham schools. There was also one case of handgun possession in Jefferson County schools. The other 11 were spread throughout the state. 